Aussie Rotten started. Before it even started, the electrical contractors and the, and the ETU um, will put together our own, own uh, training centre. And because we weren't satisfied with the current um, teaching, because they weren't giving the uh, apprentices what we wanted. We were very worried that there was no uh, testing facility for apprentices once the old SECV uh, came to an end. So the government, with uh, both the union and NECA back then, invested in ensuring that there was an industry-owned and led uh, training and testing facility for this really important but often dangerous industry. Uh, I came here in October 2000 uh, as a training coordinator. Uh, I worked in that role for uh, a year or two and then I became the training manager at the Skills Centre. Uh, after that uh, I returned back into teaching and I've been teaching here uh, ever since. I have listed the Skills Centre uh, and the, uh, well we went from Vic Tech to 370 degrees to uh, Anika um, as the best employer I've worked with and in my working life of some, uh, what now, uh, 55 years or so, uh, it's been the best employer I've ever worked with. I've been very lucky, I suppose, that I've actually taken on quite a few roles within uh, the organisation. I originally actually started as a pre-apprentice with the Skill Centre and I had a fantastic experience as an apprentice. It was just such a great place um, and good people to work for. The photos of me winning Apprentice of the Year, it was a fun, exciting night. Certainly didn't expect it. <laughs> I think I was shocked. The electrical industry is my passion, so all of the roles that I've had so far have been involved in the electrical industry. Shawnet's a small contractor. Um, we've got about 10 staff. Four of those are apprentices. Um, three of those are from 370 Degrees Group. So, yeah, we've had a really long relationship with them and they've been great. Obviously, you know, being an electrical contractor, you're always on site and there's always oh and issues. Um, when, you've needed, when we've needed support, they've, they've given it to us, which has been great. Today was my final day of my four-year apprenticeship. Just to be handed all my certificates to say I'm done, it's a good feeling. Well, for me, I started my time with a domestic bloke. So for the first year and a half, I was with him, right? But then to start with Vic Tech, it was probably a blessing in disguise because I got the experience I wanted in all fields. Since then, just the amount of work exposure, I would never have gotten uh, working for just a domestic bike. Definitely not. Well, I went in for an interview at 370 Degrees Group and they, I guess, recommended me. And I went in for an interview at RMIT with Virginia and I guess it all went well from there. It's the best way to get experience and you get a qualification out of it as well. It's been a really good experience for me to have trainees. It's a great, it's a great support in the office um, amongst our permanent staff. So. Here you have the opportunity of working with thousands of people over your career to push them in the right direction and actually get them to be successful and competent and confident and safe. And our future is about adapting quickly to technology. I had an experience here in the first day where one of our employees John Telfer raised the idea of building an app um, for safety so that our apprentices, if they go out to a construction site, could use their uh, smartphones to look at the risks. Fantastic idea. Yeah, that was my first day. Um, that was just fun. We're investing in the future. We're investing in young people. Uh, increasingly, we're also investing in mature age apprentices to give young people who may not have gone down the right career pathway uh, another go. As I said, Vic Tech was a like a real blessing in disguise. And some of the great things that we did, and one of the things that I've always thought was one of the best things we did, we ran a smorgasbord of courses. What we decided to do was run it for four hours on a Saturday morning. So these guys would come in and probably tell their partners that, hey, we're going to a training centre for session for the day. They'd come in Saturday morning and go to the footy in the afternoon. And so we used to fill these courses all the time. Within a week I could see our teaching profession here just show their passion. They're not highly paid. Um, they just have a huge amount of passion in supporting younger and people coming into the industry so they can get the best skills they can possibly get. 
It really is a career that opens up so many doors that are so wide where they can make other choices later on. So working with young people generally, although we're having people with their second and third careers come through as well, working with them for their future and actually seeing the happiness in them as we encourage them to complete their qualification. I've got a bit of a philosophy that everybody learns something from everyone every day. Thank you very much for all the support and help that you give me, especially the experience. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be here without you guys, so thanks.